Hi guys, um, I am taking our time for lecture this week to go through the example tone analysis because um, one of the things that my students um, tend to struggle with is just making the connection between the analysis or, or I guess the details within the video, whether you're using um, a commercial, whether you're using a music video, whether you're using a movie trailer, my students struggle with connecting tone to the specific examples that are seen throughout that video. So what I want to do is I want to read through this example um, and I want to identify how my student here has classified tone and then I also want to show you the details that he incorporated in his paragraph to support his classification of tone and I want to talk a little bit about I think what might be missing from this paragraph for it to be a hundred percent perfect I think he did an excellent job but there are a couple of places where he could have connected more and I want to talk about that with you so I want to use this example as something that certainly will score very high because it is giving me examples and supporting details but could have been better because it's not making all of the connections that it de that it needs to make so I want to talk about it with you guys um, today. Now, the example that we're looking at references the 1984 Apple Macintosh computer commercial, and that video I have posted a link to in our FYI section for this week. Um, I am not going to show it here in the video we're watching just in case there are um, copyrights for Apple but I would certainly a hundred percent encourage you to watch the commercial because I think you'll better understand this example so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to read through the example paragraph that's paired with our tone analysis then I'm going to identify by highlighting exactly how my student classified tone for this commercial and then we'll match up those classifications of tone with the specific details and I'll talk a little bit more about um, where he could have elaborated to have a more fuller I guess a, a, a fuller um, paragraph so let me read through this and then we'll do some highlighting all right so this is his tone analysis a rebellious theme can be found in the 1984 Apple Macintosh computer commercial, which is reinforced through a very serious and grave tone. Much of the tone is carried by the visuals and background noise. The images of a dreary futuristic society, the marching men with matching uniforms, the speech given by the man on the screen, all play into building a very serious tone. Our protagonist, the young woman, provides a victorious twist to the dark tone used so far in the commercial. The serious of the commercial isn't lost, but it gives the viewers a sense of what it's like to break the status quo and implies that the audience too can break the status quo by purchasing an Apple Macintosh. Further, the voiceover reading the text near the end uses professional, implicit language in a very monotone voice. This brings the commercial full circle in terms of tone. The final voiceover is serious, but it is serious about something new, the Apple Macintosh computer. Overall, the grave tone in this commercial urges the audience to purchase the product because it suggests something terrible will happen if viewers don't. So here my student is connecting tone um, with message. And again, this is a great example of the fact that the rhetorical triangle is all connected and it is very hard to um, isolate just one element of the rhetorical triangle without talking about anything else. So what I want to do is highlight how he classifies tone. He says that the theme is rebellious. So I'm going to highlight this in yellow. <clears throat> And he also says the tone is serious and grave. Okay, so something, I'm going to highlight that in green, something terrible, grave, something terrible will happen. That's the impression that we're getting. That's a feeling that we're getting by watching this. Um, and this is really very, very important. 
Okay, so now we want to connect this concept of rebellion and this concept of serious and grave by looking at the details that my student provides in order to support these claims. So it's not just enough for him to have said, this, is, this commercial has a theme of rebellion, the tone is serious and grave. He has to prove it, and he does that very successfully by identifying the supporting details. So Let's look at each sentence. Much of the tone is carried by the visuals and the background noise. So here is where he is starting to prove this concept of tone. He's saying, I'm going to look at what I'm seeing and I'm going to look at what I'm hearing. So I'm going to connect that um, with the green color, but just sort of like a faded green because I don't think it's quite strong enough to connect to his serious and grave tone because he's not identifying specifics. He's saying, I'm going to look at the visuals, I'm going to look at background, but I don't know what he's looking at quite yet. Now we get into some of the specifics. In terms of visuals, we see the images of a dreary futuristic society. He uses that word dreary again to kind of connect to this graveness, um, this almost like deathly image that, if, you know, this is what the world will be like if we don't um, switch to the Apple Macintosh computer. So this is a stronger green. So I'm going to darken that color a little bit as I highlight. Um, the marching men with matching uniforms, another example of this graveness here. And then he even says, again, he says visuals and background noise. So here, this speech given by the man on the screen, all play into building a very serious tone. Here's my question as an evaluator. So I'm going to type this in um, red capital letters. I'm going to ask of my student, how? How do these images speak to a serious and grave tone? So what he's doing here in this paragraph is he's successfully identifying tone and he's successfully identifying um, these supporting details from the video that give him this impression of tone. But what I'm missing is the bridge. I see point A and I see point Z, but I'm missing that bridge. So I want to know more. Like, what is it about this speech given by the man on the screen that gives you this grave tone? Um, what is his language like? What about the marching men? Why is it monotonous and how does it speak to the gravity of the situation? So I would like for my student to have told me more here. He goes on to say our protagonist, the young woman, provides a victorious twist to the dark tone used. So here he's getting into this concept of rebellion. He's starting to talk about um, going against this serious and grave tone, going against this futuristic marching man society. So I'm going to highlight that in a, again, a pale yellow because I don't think it's quite enough, but it's, it's getting... It's, it's getting at and supporting the topic sentence. <clears throat> the, serious of the seriousness of the commercial isn't lost, but it gives the viewer a sense of what it's like to break the status quo and implies that the audience too can break the status quo by purchasing an Apple Macintosh. Now here my student has made the connection. So what he's doing is he's saying the protagonist supports this rebellion because the protagonist is breaking the status quo. But what we don't get is how the protagonist is breaking the status quo. So something that I wanted to see here is him maybe describing and what happens in the video is this woman comes in with like a giant sledgehammer and she's running past all of the marching men and she's running up to this screen where the man is giving his monotonous um communistic speech and she throws the sledgehammer and busts open the screen. That's the that's the rebellion that happens in the video and I would have liked for him to identify that too. Now maybe he's feeling like um, my, my paragraph feels kind of long, I've got a lot of concepts here, but that's okay. It's okay to show as many details and as much of that connection as possible. So again, he's supporting his topic sentence in a, in a good 
way that provides a solid start, but I want to see more here. And this is why we talk about this as our example for our tone analysis. Then um, my student goes on to say, further the voiceover reading the text near the end uses professional implicit language in a very monotone voice. Okay, so I think monotone is an excellent word that really supports and connects this concept of this grave, serious voice. So I'm going to highlight that in this strong, bright green. But I want to know more about professional and implicit language. Like, what exactly does that mean? What type of language? Can you give me an example of a specific word that really supports this statement, professional implicit language? Listen to the video a couple of times and tell me about it. I want to know more about that. Um, so I'm not going to highlight that in as bright of a green here. This brings the commercial full circle in terms of tone. The final voiceover is serious, but it is serious about something new. The Apple Macintosh computer. Overall, the grave tone in this commercial urges the audience to purchase the product because it suggests something terrible will happen if it um, if viewers don't. And I think that this is very strong. So this is good connection. Here it's serious. The tone is serious. The tone is serious about the product. You have to buy this product. Um, so there's room for improvement here. Again, like I talked about in that video that I sent you guys last week regarding the rhetorical triangle brainstorms, keep asking yourself this question, how? How do you know what makes you say this? After every sentence, ask yourself that question. If you haven't answered it, answer it before you move on to a new sentence. Um, and so this is an example of, of tone and our tone analysis um, and how you can improve it. And don't forget, I want to see a works cited citation for the YouTube video um, that you have. And this is going to give us an introduction to citing sources. There's a video below on how to cite a YouTube video. If you didn't watch it last week or if you need a refresher, go ahead, check it out. Um, I will give you feedback on your audience analysis uh, work cited citation so that you can make sure if it needs to be updated or improved that you can do that as well. All right. Well, I think that that covers everything regarding your um, tone analysis example that I want to talk about. About today. Um, if you want, go in and watch that 1984 Apple commercial and then reread this paragraph and see where you can kind of fill in the blanks that um, one of my previous students maybe left untold. Email me if you have any questions.